At Audiology Associates of Prestonsburg, you can live your life the way you want and find the freedom of better hearing. With 40 years of being in the hearing care industry, you'll experience patient care that is specific to you with exceptional follow-up care that ensures your hearing and balance needs are being met. Audiology Associates at 1428 North Lake Drive in Prestonsburg. After a fatal house fire in 1984, Charles Hackworth banded together with members of the community to found the Middle Creek Volunteer Fire Department. Hackworth died June 21st, and we spoke to Chief Biltner about the impact Hackworth had on the community. Charles Hackworth uh, was an individual that he was always putting the community first, always lending a hand, and had a caring heart in our community. And he was one of the uh, founding members of our department years ago, and uh, if it wasn't for him and the several others, we wouldn't be here today. Not only did he uh, help with the fire department, uh, after 38 years, he retired as our treasurer, and he stayed on as a board member and, uh, and support member. He also run the Middle Creek Food Pantry. And uh, so not only did he help people in emergency situations, but he also helped people uh, with the need of hunger. And he was always there uh, to help everybody and had a caring heart in the community. Shortly after founding the department, Hackworth also helped found the Middle Creek Food Pantry. Right after the fire department started, they seen also a need in the community, a lot of the firemen did, and the community members as well, uh, for a need of food to the needy in along in our, our area here. And he was one of the members that started that food pantry uh, with other people as well. But uh, for years, he run that food pantry on his own time, sometimes giving his own money out of his own pocket to make sure that people in this community was fed. Hackworth volunteered at the department for 39 years and was active within the department until his death. He will always stand out to us as the caring hand. Um, he was always had a big heart, willing to go the extra mile and uh, making sure that everybody in the community was had their needs took care of. And not only that, but even on the fire side, like he was a really big player of making sure we had equipment, make sure that we was trained right, um, and so forth, and, and he will be missed, and he'll be a big asset of us gone, and it'll be hard to fill those shoes. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.